Ah, going back to the old school. The weird old school. Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the G1 Springer. So here we are, and there he is, and usually, first and foremost, I would take a quick look at the packaging, but I don't have any original packaging for this guy, but I do have a, a box of uh, Colgate Total Clean Mint. Go right along. Yes, it's another Friday G1 fun day. We got some new stuff for next week, but today we're going to have some G1 fun. So before we get down to Springer himself... Let us bring in the Transformers Bible. And if we open our Bibles to a page 97, here we have Springer. Function, aerial defense, motto, strength is more than physical. A wise, cracking, sharp-witted adventurer, powerful Autobot fighter with a massive physique and an easy-going manner. Possesses incredible springing power in his legs, travels long distances with pogo-like motion. In robot mode, carries a laser that produces giant wind tunnels. Helicopter blade transforms into a lightsaber gimmick infringement, transforms into a lightsaber that can cut through concrete, optimistic and good-humored. So now that we know who this guy is, let's take a look at the figure itself. So here's Springer in his car mode, which, you know, car is kind of a loose term, but hey, it has four wheels and it rolls, so car. <laughs> here he is in his car mode. You can see, you know, the paintwork here is a little... He's a little scratched up. He's an old toy. He's been loved. Yeah, no, it is what it is. But so you do have a lot of sticker detailing going on, mostly under here. These are all repro labels, so these are all brand new stickers on them. So they're nice and fresh. What about symbols back there? Um, a lot of chromeware. You can see that's supposed to be totally chromed, but most of it is gone because you know it happens. That's what happens to chrome over time. But there's the back. There's the top, there's the bottom, who does have that visible hair syndrome, hey! Uh, the front tires are rubber, the back wheels are plastic. He does roll, as rolling things should. Hooray for springing, rolling, and springing and rolling, yay! And for comparison, as always, we keep the uh, comparisons G1 here in these G1 reviews, so here he is with G1 Optimus Prime. Here he is with G1 Hot Rod. And here he is with G1 Rodimus Prime. So, there you go. So now let's talk about accessories. He does include uh, two. He has his gun right here, which is, uh, again, a lot of the chrome has uh, worn off. It's supposed to be totally chrome, but again, it's old. It's been loved. It's been kind of worn out, but there is his gun. And he also gets the helicopter blade slash propellers, which on mine are just, they're just, that's just all kinds of flop-tastic. As a sword, doesn't really work out too well, but yeah, no, it does its job. Um, as far as uh, storage goes, uh, you are supposed to take the gun and just kind of plug it up top there. Although on mines it doesn't actually stay. I don't know if it's supposed to, but on mine it just it doesn't really work. But hey, it's supposed to go up there. There you go. Some kind of storage. As far as the helicopter blades, you know, you can always just plug that in like that. You know, could be a rail car or something. I don't know. Hey, you yeah, know, it's a G1 toy. Who cares about storage anyway? And of course, right up top here, we have the uh, the old rub symbol here. Let's see if we can get it activated here. Yeah, that works pretty well. Yay! There you go. You have the rub sign. He's not a bot. Are you shocked? I know I am. So. That is basically it for the car mode, so let's get down to a transformation, shall we? Hey, hey, hey. Ooh, we should call him Spinner. <laughs> uh, I'm not sorry. I'm really not. I apologize for nothing. Not a thing. <laughs> so, to get him into helicopter mode, you gotta take this section, slide it forward, take these side sections here, they slide back, slide back, 
and they just pick together back here. Then you take these sections, these arms, and just swing those out like so. And these sections here, you just slide forward like so. It's such a dramatic change. You wouldn't even notice it if you didn't do it, but if I don't do it, 100 people will tell me about it. So <laughs> you do slide those forward like that. Then, then we take the blades here, we split it, plug it up top, and there you have Springer in his helicopter mode. Woo! Spinny, 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 spinny. Yay! And the helicopter mode pretty much just looks like the car mode, just with some wings and a tail. And that's not a whole lot of difference. But hey, it works. It works for Springer. It works for Springer. It works for Springer. I just like doing that. Whee! Hey, so that is it for the helicopter mode. As far as the gun, where do you store the gun? I don't know. I guess you can just plug it into his robot mode hands. You can do that. I don't know. It's the thing you can do if you want to do it. It's a G1 toy. Who cares about storage anyway? So you have the helicopter mode. So let's get down to robot mode. So remove this, Ugh. put that off to the side, and we shall get down to it. So again, you just want to take the uh, these sections here, just kind of slide them back. On mine, these are quite stiff also. Come on. Ugh. Oh, I didn't want to slide them all the way down. You almost slide them all the way down. There is like a midpoint. I don't think you're supposed to slide them all the way down. The instructions are actually not clear about where they're supposed to sit. I always kind of just bring them to that midpoint. There we go. Nope, it went all the way forward again. You know something, Springer? You know somebody? I got better things to do tonight. <laughs> I got better things to do tonight. There you go. There's like a midpoint click there. That's where I always leave them. That, that, and that's where they're staying. I don't care if it's right. I don't care if it's wrong. That's where they're going. My toy, I'll do what I want with it. But uh, you just want to split these sections here, split the legs, and just kind of pull them down. And again, on mine, it's all just really stiff. Things just get stuck. Again, he's an old guy. He's an old guy. There we go. Slide that down. Bring these back up to make his feet. Get this one down. There we go. Bring that up like so. Make sure those legs have clicked into place. There we go. He is standing. He is vertical. Hooray. Then we just bring his arms forward. Unfold them. Bring this down to form the chest. Now, per the instructions, they want you to slide this back down like that. I don't like that. I think that looks stupid. I leave it up. But, you know, again, your toy. Display it however you wish. But there you go. There you have Springer in his robots mode. And it's a weird looking Springer. A real weird looking Springer. It's blocky. It's weird. It's a G1 toy. Hey, so it works perfectly. <laughs> but here he is in his robot mode. And let's get in close here so we can take a look. That's the head sculpt. The head sculpt is actually not bad. They actually did try to make it look like his actual, you know, head in the cartoon. So, you know, no paint whatsoever on it, but they actually tried to make it look like him. And of course, you have all the stickers here on the body, on the waist there. He has his weird, really <laughs> weird arms. I never understood how this... I never understood his arms, but anyway. Moving down the body. And some more sticker stuff with some more just weird things going on there. Wires and such. So, yeah, there's the back. Yay. Now, as far as articulation goes, it's a G1 toy. There isn't much to speak of. Um, his arms, his weird arms, can move up and down. He does have a double jointed elbow, which is nice. That's rare in G1 toys. The arms can move outward, too. You can do that. You can be all like, you can be all like, hooray! Hooray! Yay! You can do that. You can cheer. He can cheer for himself. Because nobody else wants to. There you go. <laughs> 
Now, of course, we can give him his weapons. We can give him his gun, like so. So you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. And you can give him his uh, his lightsaber. That's what they call it in the bio. It's a total gimmick infringement, but hey. And again, mine is just kind of just that's just. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you hate it when that happens? Yeah, no, yeah, the sword does, doesn't work out too well. You can have to, there you go. That works out. There you go. And you can slash, slash, <laughs> slash, <laughs> slash, slash, flop, flop. You can basically, you know, hey, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. But there you have that. And now for comparison, here he is with G1. Optimus Prime with G1 Hot Rod and with G1 Rodimus Prime. So, there you go. So there you have a G1 Springer. Another oldie, but a goodie. Um, he's a really weird looking robot, but again, it's G1, so fits in perfectly. Now, if you would like a G1 Springer of your own, just uh, just just look around. You'll you'll find one somewhere eventually. Yeah, all this is the best advice I can give you. But for all your other Transformers needs, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com, linked in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the G1 playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say, so there is the G1 Springer, and this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing be a geek be proud oh back up oh in your face hot rod the decepticons are attacking we need to defend the city oh oh um something wrong with your sword there man hey back off man i just grabbed the first sword i could find all right get careful careful with that thing i'm, I'm sorry i just uh, uh, careful! Careful! Jeez, man. Look, it's not my fault, okay? I'm sure it happens to all of us.